So in this demo, we wanted to show you how we are not only connecting the machines to the internet through the IoT Hub, but we are also meshing up data to provide meaningful and actionable insight. Here, I'm gonna be playing the role of a production manager. And tomorrow is my vacation start. I come in the morning and I take a look at this web page and I see something interesting. Here, I can see a depiction of my production floor. As soon as we hook up a new machine, the raw sensor data comes in and the sensors light up. But typically that doesn't mean much. However, we mesh it up and enrich it with the production data. So here we can see that we have six active jobs, 18 scheduled one, 23 completed, and we also have a lot of quality data coming in and other metrics. I'm seeing that machine 1225 is acting up and I want to investigate further. So taking a closer look, I can see that this machine is manufacturing currently four orders, one is in progress, and its temperature is going all over the place, and the power consumption does the same thing, indicating a potentially a serious malfunction. As a production manager, I don't want to kill the machine, and I need to have a backup plan. In Dynamics 365, we have definition of machine's capabilities, and also, the routing information. The routing information provides us with how efficient the machine is in, is in running certain items and manufacturing them. That's why Dynamics is able to come up with options for me. This way, I will reroute the orders to other machines that are capable of manufacturing the same item. By default, the system tries to satisfy most orders but I see that there's gonna be some predicted scrap and I'm not entirely comfortable with that, so I wanna investigate another option. So by doing some what if analysis. So I'm selecting another one, which is minimizing the predicted scrap. I see that the scrap is way lower. We're gonna run some, this machine some overtime, but what I'm not happy about is that I will miss delivery, timely delivery on four orders. And being a customer-centric organization, I need to consider the needs of the other departments, and namely a sales department. In this way, I'm probably gonna take advantage of the customer classification that we have in the system and fulfill the orders of my top customers first. So I'm gonna confirm the suggestion, and as soon as I'm done, I'll take a look at the impact data and see how the orders were rerouted to other machines. What is important on this screen is that I'm also able to see which salesperson was impacted. And if they already didn't get alert, poor David will get a phone call from me and will have some resetting expectations with his customers. Then I'm off to my vacation. <clears throat> and while I'm on the beach, like many of us, I cannot stop thinking about work. Luckily, I don't have to log in to my production system to find, on, to find out what's going on with my machines. So we taught Cortana some skills through the skills SDK so that I can ask a question about my business data. Ask Dynamics about machine 1225. <coughs> it is running order P000190, producing five pieces of soundbar X250. The order is for Pelican Wholesales and due for delivery on October 23rd, 2017. And this is also a good excuse for me to call my buddy David and tell him the, about my vacation and also that the order will not be that delayed as we initially planned. So this way, we are, also, we are not only optimizing 
and connecting the data through the IoT hub. We are working hard on connecting this to business data and enriching and, and meshing the data together so that we enrich the raw sensors data into something that makes sense and provides actionable insight. Thank you. Thank you, Eugene. Mm -hmm.